up and welcome to another radical episode of Exact Tax brought to you by Actional Insights. My name is Seth Harrison and today I want to talk about distributing market conditions. First off, huge shout out to our Facebook fans uh, for choosing this week's outfit, the radical retro ski outfit. Uh, if you haven't already, please go to our Facebook, facebook.com slash actionable insights forum and hit us with that like, that follow, help support our nonprofit as we create this kind of content for the industry at large. So now to distributing market conditions. I have here Xactimate 28 open and estimate open and I am in the estimate items tab here. And I'm going to bring up a line item, HMRDIS. This is a new line item that just came out uh, in May of 2020. It was added to the price list. And when I select this line item and I'm on the unit price tab, I can click the I for information on this price to get an idea to see, okay, there are three components in this, labor, material, and equipment. And the various prices here allotted for that unit price is 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.45 for a total price uh, of, for, per unit of 54 cents here. What I would like to do is actually change this price. I'm going to add money to the price. And I'm going to type in here $1. And when I hit $1 and I hit enter, first off, you can see that there is a unit price change here that is highlighted in green. Green means variance. It means it's not the original pricing for this particular line item. Um, and if we come in here and we click this I again, you'll note that the additional 46 cents, it was 54 cents, now it's in the dollar, that additional 46 cents was thrown into market conditions. What are market conditions? Well, essentially, if there's a change in the price, especially a, an increase, uh, it, is just, it is all that extra money is put into market conditions. And market conditions historically have been used by Xactimate in the pricing department, such that if there is a catastrophic event, a natural disaster, that the demand for work often goes up, pricing goes up in that area, and the pricing department will add money uh, to various line items that are affected by the catastrophe in that particular area for a period of time. And then over that period of time, the pricing department will determine, hey, is this a permanent change in the pricing in this marketplace, or was it only temporary due to the natural occurrence in which the market conditions would be removed over time? Um, but that is the purpose of market conditions. And when you're just changing prices to change prices, that's where it goes. But there's a, uh, another technique that we can use to actually distribute these market conditions into the component prices of that particular line item. I'm going to jump over to the claim info tab over here. And I'm under the parameters here. And you'll see there is under add-ons a distribute market conditions. I am going to select that. When I jump back over here, you'll note nothing changes. So if you're a mid estimate and you click distribute market conditions all of a sudden, it's not going to retroactively change uh, the line items. You can see that there's still 46 cents in the market conditions here. It didn't retroactively apply it or distribute it. But if I'm going to delete this line item and come over here to the HMR dis again, change the price now from 54 cents to $1. Voila. Now when I hit the eye here to look at where this went, you'll see there is nothing in market conditions. And the prices of material, equipment, and labor went up. And I actually prepared for this video a little notepad doc. I'm going to bring up here, I'll bring it to the left side here. So when we started, these were the prices of the original components, four cents, five cents, 45 cents. Then we added 46 cents to each unit price to make it a dollar uh, for market conditions. Uh, this was the resulting prices, as you can see here, 0 0.07, 0 0.09, 0 0.84. These right here are the changes. So material went up by three cents, and that was approximately 6% of the total addition. And the equipment went up four cents, that was approximately 9% of the total distribution. And the 39 cents labor went up by, that's 85% of the total 46 cents that was added. So when you hit distribute market conditions and you change a price, it will distribute equally, essentially, shouldn't say equally, it will distribute uh, the amount added amongst the components based on their weight in the line item. So you can see up here at the beginning line item, HMR dis, material was about 7%, equipment was about 9% of the line item, and labor was about 83%. I know that comes out to about 99% or so, uh, but that's why we have the squigglies and the approximate rounding. Uh, but you can see when the market conditions of 46 cents were distributed, 6% went to material, 9% went to equipment, and 85% went to labor. So it will distribute those market conditions based on the weighted 
uh, value of each component in that particular line item. Uh, please note that even though market conditions are distributed, the green uh, line item still shows up here. The unit price shows up green as a change in the price. Uh, but when we do jump to components, it doesn't necessarily strike out as a change in the component prices. You can see here the line item here uh, for the updated distributed, the unit prices are 135, 110, 166. And if I were to quickly undistribute market conditions, go back, delete the line item, put it back in there, la la la, you will see that the original, sorry, original uh, components were not 135, et cetera, it's 72, 60, and 87. So yes, you can add change prices. Those prices will initially go into distribute market conditions. You can select distribute market conditions before you estimate such that you distribute those conditions into the components of each line item. Um, but it will still have a unit price change uh, green and would show up on any variance report if you're running because you've changed the price. So hopefully this helps. Uh, this has been another exact app. Ho I hope you've enjoyed. Please, if you could, like, share, subscribe on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Reddit. We are everywhere and we're trying to help. Uh, so any help that you can help us or provide us is always appreciated. Thank you very much, and I will uh, see you next week.